Hola amigos, hoy vamos a leer Quiero a mi papá porque dice Quiero a mi papá porque juega conmigo. Aquí está la niña jugando con su papá. Me mantiene seguro y abrigado. Está aquí el pingüino emperador y su polluelo. Me trae de comer. Aquí está el frailecillo y su polluelo también. Es grande y fuerte. El águila calva y su polluelo aquí debajo. Toma la siesta conmigo. El león y su cachorro. Quiero a mi papá porque puede construir una casa como lo hace el castor y su cachorro como lo hace también la rata almizclera y su cría. Me hace reír como lo hace el chimpancé con su cría. Me ayuda a alcanzar las cosas, la jirafa y su cría. Me canta canciones como lo hace el lobo gris y su lobesno. Me lleva de paseo como lo hace el somorgujo y su polluelo. Me enseña a ser valiente como lo hace el gorila y su cría. Me enseña a ser cuidadoso, como lo hace el puerco espín, como lo hace el zorro rojo y sus cachorros. Quiero a mi papá porque juega al escondite conmigo, como lo hace el jaguar con su cachorro, los monos arañas, los tucanes el perezoso de dos dedos, los loros, todos ellos les gusta jugar al escondite con sus crías. Protege a nuestra familia, como es el buey y su ternero. Me cuida por la noche como lo hace el reno y su cervatillo. Quiero a mi papá y mi papá me quiere. Colorín colorado, este cuento se ha terminado y se llama Quiero a mi papá, ¿por qué? Y eso es todo por hoy. Gracias. These artworks are sculptures created from ivory. It might be hard to tell in this picture, but they're both less than three inches tall. This kind of sculpture is called Netsuke sculpture, and they were used as charms on a belt just like charm bracelets or necklaces we would wear today. These artworks feature people and animals together. Could they be families? What do you think they could be doing together? If you made a charm for your father on Father's Day, what would you like to make? How could you show happiness and love? Welcome back, artists. This week, we're going to be celebrating Father's Day. Now, you can make artwork for Father's Day for a lot of different people in your family, not just a father. You could make them for grandfathers, uncles, or even older brothers. We're going to be making a kind of art called sculpture today that you can make at home with something like clay or model magic or your very own homemade salt dough. You can make salt dough with just a few easy things. You're going to need an adult to do this activity, but this is a great chance for you to make art with your family. To make this project, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need flour, salt, and water, a fork and a mixing bowl, 
and I like to use a paper plate underneath my dough so it doesn't get messy. One other thing you might need is aluminum foil to help your sculpture. I also like to use something sharp like a pencil to help me carve in any details. You also need measuring cups as well. For the last steps of your project, you might want to use paint and paintbrushes or markers to add some color. The first thing I'm going to do, I already measured out a cup of flour, one cup. Now I'm going to measure out an eighth of a cup of salt. And that just goes right in here. Then I'm going to add a half of a cup of water. Once those are all in my bowl, I'm just going to take a fork and mix it together. You can use a fork or a whisk, whatever you'd like, or even your hands. I'm going to use my hands later on just because I think it's more fun that way. Now that I have my dough all mixed up, I'm just going to take it out of the bowl and I'll move it onto my paper plate. So now that I'm at my next step, the next step you can do is to build a skeleton for your sculpture out of aluminum foil. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it does make it easier down the line. So here are some skeletons that I worked with. I decided that I was going to be making sculptures of some fish because fish are something that's important to me and my family. We like to go fishing and that's something that we really like to do together. So I'm going to take my smaller sculpture and I'm just going to take some of my dough here, not sticking to my fingers, and I'm going to put it on top of my skeleton and shape it up. Now I'm just putting it on and then I'm going to pinch and pull it until it's the shape that I want. This part can take a while, so it's no big deal if you need to take a long time to make it perfect, to make it exactly the way that you want to be. So after I do the main part of my fish, what I'm going to do now is take any of my extra dough and use it to make some details that I'm going to add on to my fish sculptures. So because I'm making fish, some things that I'm thinking about are ways to include eyes, fins, and maybe some scales. So I've got some gills that I'm adding on here onto my big and little sculpture. Then I'm going to add on some fins. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take my pencil here and use it to carve in some lines.
One of the best things about using this kind of dough is if you make a mistake, you can just go back in and kind of push it out with your fingers really easily. Now here I have my finished sculptures. I'm happy with them. I don't think there's any more details that I want to add. All I have to do now is wait a few hours for them to dry. Now that my fish is dry, I can move on to painting and finishing it up. So even though it's dry, you can still see a lot of the lines that I carved in. Now I can add any extra details. So I'm going to think about the colors of my fish. I'm making this as a present for my father, so something I might want to do is use our favorite colors. So I think I'll use red and blue. Now that I've finished, I'm ready to give it as a gift. I can think of any extra details I might want to add and sign my name on the back if I'd like to. Hi artists, thanks for joining in for this week of Art in Espanol. Be sure to come back next week for a new episode.